I always see now, because as we said in a previous episode, the divorce rate is through, well, the, through roof. the roof. It's ridiculous. And every time I listen to a podcast where someone is very successful, right? Every time they go through a divorce, but I do find it very interesting that a lot of successful people have been through multiple divorces. Yeah. But, but real quick, once they get to their second or third, they say that they just give them whatever they want and just get it over and done with as fast as possible because to them, it's just that negative energy that drags on for yeah, you just so yeah, you just long. Like, just and you're fighting have over it, the, get it done quick. Yeah, you're fighting over the dumbest stuff. It really is at the end of the day. And it's just... They're like super petty too. And it would be draining on you, just negative oh, it energy. it is, man. Like you're dealing with that every day, every single day. It's like, oh God. Like, yeah. Oh, what is it now? But like, Oh, you want the Ken doll. But like, like, really? It sucks, man. It, as I said before, I would love to be like that. But if I was with someone and they cheated on me, see, I would... I would um, be like, no, it's all mine. I fuck you. Literally, I would. I think I would keep that negative energy to make sure they don't just. Uh, you well, know how it is. You know people are like, oh, just leave it. It's going to be fine. That it's. And I'm sitting there. I'm like, no, that they basically get what they want again. They've cheated, and then they get what they want again. How yeah, messed up is that? Yeah, I'm same not with, having that. Same with child support. Some, mm-hmm. some. Uh, again, we always say context is key. There's some people out there that aren't getting enough child support and they really need it. They really need Oh, most definitely. No, you're spot on. Then there's other people who... And they're just almost abusing the the right, I guess. Definitely. And I I guarantee... They're already living a lavish life. They don't really need the money per se. They make up some sob story and you're like... Even if they aren't... Really? Even if they aren't, they will somehow get, let's say, four or five hundred bucks, whatever it is, and maybe a hundred goes to the kid. Yeah, and the rest is going the rest to is like with the parents him getting and her, like and then you partner, bit, bit of cosmetic surgery here or there. Yeah, that new handbag, that new that new Gucci, alcohol could be anything. Smokes, and I hate those situations, and ugh, those ones suck so much. Because imagine if you're divorced, you're working your ass off. You look at your paycheck, which is probably not that great at the well, beginning. Well, especially now that it it's just you. It. Yeah, but like you, um, depending on how many children you have. Yeah. As well, like single dad, single mom, like, you know, you've gone from like having that joint mm. spending together. Now you got to pay rent or, you know, because you can't, you can split the house 50-50 or 70 for whatever. So, man, like, let, me, let 